Welcome back everyone. So in this video, we will go over the SAT March exam, both digital and non-digital. And yes, the video is kind of late, but I was on vacation. Follow me on Instagram to see what I've been doing on vacation. So you guys are more in tune with my life. So ST March guys, how was it? All right, I want you guys to comment down right now how you felt about the ST March exam and what do you think you got if you have not got your score already? Because I know some of you may have already got your score, but let me know how, which how you guys felt, how you guys did. Now, a lot of students have already let me know how they felt about the exam. And that's another reason why I took a good amount of time to make this video. Because I really want a good judgment of how people felt about this exam. So starting off with the ST math part, a lot of students said that ST math was easy. And now I'm starting to think that ST math will always be said easy because I've always heard that, hey, yeah, ST math was not hard at all. It was pretty good. Now for digital ST math, I did get some mixed opinion. Some people said it was hard, some people said it was easy. I think this is because, like I said, it's the first digital ST math exam administered. So a lot of students aren't really used to the language of the digital ST math exam because it is a little more different than the regular one. But the ideas, the patterns, the tips and tricks are all the same. Like I literally made an ST math course one year ago on how to get a perfect score on the ST math exam. And people have used that same course to get a really high score on the digital ST math exam. So it still transitions over because all the patterns and tips and tricks are the same. So that's really what I want you guys to realize. Now, the language is a little different, but you can get used to that through a lot of practice. But all in all, the ST math for the regular like ST was pretty easy. And then for digital, it was still on the easy side. But again, it was mixed reviews. Some students thought it was harder than like the regular uh, SAT. Some thought that it was fine. Now, when it comes to reading, a lot of students did struggle. And this is like universal, like on both the regular exam and the digital exam. Some students exclaimed that it was um, not the best, that they struggled a lot with it, that they think they failed, that they think that they got only a 200 for putting their name down, that's it. But yeah, a lot of negative reviews, obviously there's the overachievers who said it was not that hard at all. Um, they've seen easier, but this was still relatively easy. So the idea is ST reading wasn't probably the easiest part of the ST March exam, but that's usually the case as well. But I guess this time ST reading was a little, a little extra hard. Now, the reasons being, I feel like a lot of students, for example, um, probably didn't emphasize ST reading as much because it's a new SAT exam, right? The March one was the first one, like literally the new year. So they're like, okay, let me hone in on math, make sure I ace the math one, and then maybe ST May, I can focus on reading. A lot of students like to you know, split that up, right? Math in March, reading in May. Because if you're taking SAT like in the March, you're probably applying to college in the fall. So you have a lot of time. So you're able to take multiple SAT exams and do that type of split action where you're focused on one section for one exam and the other section on the other exam. And you super score to have like a really good score of like a 1580 or 1600. And now if you struggle with the ST reading exam, all right, and then I want you guys to check out my ST reading course description below. It's a fat sale on it right now. And it will literally take you guys to the promised land and help you guys 1600, like mark my words, all right? It will improve your score if you literally follow what I say. It's not hard. And the score expectations of a lot of students are they think that they were able to reach their goal score, at least the ones that are in my Discord or in my, you know, surround my YouTube channel and are active subscribers. Or a lot of the students who bought my course, they've all said that they think they got at least a 14 to 1450. Some of you thought they got 1500 plus, um, which I'm not proud of. I'm glad that my course was able to help a lot of students. But at the end of the day, that's what it's for. Yeah, it also helps me financially, but it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Now, when it comes to the curve, this is what a lot of students are tripped up about. They're like, okay, so SD March and digital SD March, will they have the same curve? The answer is no, because you have to understand there's a different population for these exams. The digital SD March exam is not for US students. The regular SD March exam is, right? A lot of international students haven't taken a digital exam. So they're, you know, they're being scored different. The digital exam itself is like an entirely different format than the regular exam, right? Uh, yeah, like there might be similar sections, but the digital, you literally have a calculator the entire time. So stuff like that is different. A lot of students don't realize that. So no, the curves are different. So don't think that, oh my God, people are saying digital is so hard. So the curve would be so nice for the regular one. That's not, that's not how it is. Um, there's two different curves. So, and that's how it should be because imagine like the same curve, like that would really mess a lot of students up, especially if they struggled, they would probably end up with like a 300 on the exam. So that's not something you want. So it's a good thing that the curves are different, not a bad thing. So with that being said, that's really how SD March has seemed to play out for a lot of students. So if you want to make sure you get a super high school ST May exam, and you want to ace it, be sure to check out my courses. The link description below is literally a bundle I have for both courses with a fat sale. I really want you guys to check it out. It's been doing really well. And I'm going to hit the price a little lower. So I know a lot of you guys are, have been saying the price is a little too high. So I'm listening to you guys. I'm make sure I cut the price down and I have a fat coupon on it already. So you guys should really have not much of a problem to check it out. 
So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, entire video and this entire review. And I look forward to SD May. I have a video on that within the next two days. So be sure to check that out. Peace.